good morning class this is pooja not here so today's topic is noun so noun is a part of speech so if we talk about noun we'll start with definition of noun and what is what its meaning noun is a naming word it can be the name of a thing place person animal or feeling so noun could be a thing place person animal or feeling as you all know that person place animal we can uh make out what what is a place what is a person what is an animal but thing generally we get confused with this word thing so thing is whatever we perceive with our five sensory organ we call it a thing so that is also a noun so here we have some examples of noun like naming people so naming people means uh, name of any person any individual that is a noun okay like any individual's name john patima michael i will list it with some examples here also tom and so on and then we have you know what is uh, you know naming people naming places so it can be noun can be a name of any place for example we have america china any place there are dome taj mahal huh? then we have naming things things whatever we perceive as as i've uh, discussed it in the beginning things are like car hat bottle table chair ball and so on and naming animals means any uh, animal individual animal like dog rabbit elephant so these all are denoted as nouns naming feelings like your feelings your ideas your qualities are also known as noun like joy fear beauty strength anger so i have illustrated some examples over here like i live in australia it's naming place jenny is my sister it's naming noun i love to play with my dog it's naming animal the name of this monkey is boo it's individual's name pacific ocean is very uh, uh, vast it's again and you know a particular name so these are our uh, nouns so you know you know and now i i can uh, go further so we can talk about types of nouns we have we have all together we have proper noun common noun collective noun possessive noun number noun compound noun countable noun uncountable noun masculine noun and feminine noun so we'll go one by one we'll understand all that like proper noun proper noun means name of people or person or place a particular person specific name of a pe of people person or places is known as proper noun okay and proper noun one more thing that you have to keep in your mind a special naming words or proper nouns always begin begin with a capital letter like my name is mark sophie any individual's specific name is marked as proper noun and it is always written in capital keep in mind then we have examples you know uh, we can understand proper noun in that way too like sunday monday tuesday january february these all are proper nouns it could be day it could be month it could be season it could be anything but it should it should be specific okay and these are some more examples like christmas is my favorite festival okay so these are your proper nouns now we have common noun common noun is actually uh, basically name given to a group sharing same features group uh, you know uh, sharing same features or um, you can say that naming word that are common to people places things and animals etc that is known as common noun right so they are general names uh, they are always capitalized unless they begin a sentence for example boy girl doctor town city dog car and so on so this is you know these all are categories or group uh, you know uh, given a particular name so these are these are known as common noun like teachers teach in school so you can understand all teachers you know so this is your common noun so we have given uh, a name a specific name teachers to all the teachers or sharing same traits or who whoever is being uh, whoever is being uh, been into this profession of teaching is known as a teacher so birds all birds birds live on live on trees so i have illustrated some more examples i want you to go through all these examples next we have your collective noun collective noun is uh, you know 
uh, it, it's basically it is used to give a name to a group or person place animals or things so collectively we we give a name to a group person place animal or thing that represents your complete whole so that is known as your collective noun like a flock of sheep flock of sheep means bahut sare sheep there are so many sheep but it is known as flock a, ga a gaggle of geese a litter of cubs right these are examples of some collective noun and collective noun most probably collective noun is always conjugated with singular verb right so now we have next category of noun we have so these are examples of collective noun go through it then we have your some examples of we have possessive noun possessive means possession okay so that means who or what has or owns something possess something that is known as possessive noun this is bob's skateboard so here we can see that all uh, bold words are marked as noun so here we have bob's uh, possessive noun and another example papa uh, uh, brought a new frame for grandpa's spectacles so grandpa's is possessive grandpa's is, uh, is a possessive noun so you can see possession whatever is holding a possession is known as possessive noun then we have next category of noun you can see that girls boys these all are your possessive nouns then we have singular number noun plural number noun singular it stands for one person animal or thing or place that is singular number or plural stands for more than one person or animal so for example you can see one toy one boy one girl two dogs which you can count that is singular noun plural means so many people so many things are all together that is known as plural noun that cities ladies stories these are your plural nouns right then we have next category of noun that is your next is so you can see singular and all singular and plural nouns over here then we have compound nouns compound noun compound nouns are formed by joining two nouns together so here if we talk about compound noun you will see that two nouns are joined together there and that way they make uh, you know they form compound nouns uh for example ian looked at his time table so time and table are combined so this is known as compound compound noun so these are some examples lunch time this is an example of compound noun x rays okay countable noun then we have next category that is countable noun so countable noun is which you can count known as countable noun so whatever you can count and most of the noun come in this category or countable nouns rather that countable nouns because uncountable because they refer to things people or animals that can be counted like i saw took owls you can count owls you know there are four milk bottles in the fridge you can count them so if these are countable nouns then we have uncountable noun uncountable noun that cannot be counted as uncountable noun you know uh, or you can say that uh, uncountable noun known as mass nouns right like noun words can be divided into then we have another category the noun gender noun that is known as it can be divided into masculine or feminine noun would noun could be either masculine or feminine so masculine noun represents male boys men female and feminine nouns represent female girls female animals for example like princess women these are uh, feminine nouns and if you talk about masculine noun we have you know male animals men these all are your masculine nouns so let's go for a quick uh, a recap so children we have discussed nouns over here if you talk about noun so we have uh, these types of noun so we have let's go for a quick recap so the if we talk about the category of noun noun is name of a person place or thing as we have discussed so and if we talk about the type of noun we have collective noun we have proper noun common noun we have um material noun we have masculine noun we have compound noun so these these are the categories of noun we have proper noun common noun collective noun possessive noun number noun compound noun 
countable noun uncountable noun masculine noun and feminine noun so i hope you understood it and i really want you to all i really want you all all to go through all these nouns and make your own understanding with this uh, thank you class thank you so much